morning. I set my alarm to watch the sailing because we were due to dock at seven. It's half past six. We're here. <laughs> this is my infinity balcony view. I love it. <laughs> this is La Rochelle. So we're in the port, obviously. <laughs> Windows open. Big bridge there. And people getting off. A lifeboat. <laughs> and there's sunshine. It doesn't feel cold. People look wrapped up warm, but then I forget that some of these people are from really tropical places. Beautiful. There's like a gangway there. Well, this sunshine is much needed. <laughs> I'm gonna get off and take some photos shortly. Is it going up? <laughs> the window? Oh, no, this is it. The captain may close window due to weather or cleaning. All right, completed. There's also a blind up there. I'm not gonna put it down. Well, I'll put it down a little bit. They can come down at night to make it all dark. Um, there we are. I quite like being woken by natural light, so... When you come back to the cabin, they arrange it with a blind down. And these doors shut. And these doors shut. Whereas I then open the blind... No, these doors open. Whereas I shut these doors and open the blind so that in the morning Welcome by natural light. Popped up to the Ocean View Cafe for a bit of breakfast overlooking the aft. Took a couple of drinks outside to enjoy overlooking the view of La Rochelle. Sunset Bar is generally a wonderful place to sit whenever, but it's especially nice in the morning when it's nice and quiet. Just to get your bearings and have a look over the port that you have just docked in. Look at this plunge pool, isn't it incredible? It's an infinity wand. It's the cantilever wand. Now you can see... Um, France in the background. <laughs> I can't say where it is. Ilda de. I don't know. I'm going there later. I will learn how to say it. At this point. And accessible too. The other one doesn't have a chair, but this one does. There we are. That island is Ile de Ray, um, a French island off La Rochelle. I've never, French has never been my forte, so I'm, I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sure, but I shall learn this afternoon. Um, I'm trying at least. <laughs> Have a look. That's the bridge. I then had a bit of a potter around on deck, looking at um, areas like the roof gardens here, and then onto the resort deck just to have a look. I'm taking all of the ship in still. It's only day four aboard. Um, not even day four, day three, I think. Had a nose at the retreat, and inside, this is as close as I got. Um, Cruising solo, there was not a chance I could go into a suite on my own. Do you know, it's expensive enough for a balcony. Um, but maybe one day Mr No Cruise Control comes with me. But to be fair, the ship is so beautiful and so brilliant, I don't think I'd want a suite. Purely because when we spend so much on suites, we then spend a lot of time in them. So it's usually on ships we know really well. Or ships that are very classically maybe um, designed. Whereas this ship is so insanely designed and so magnificent that I wouldn't want to keep myself to one part of the ship. I want to keep exploring everywhere. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see. I love this ramp. I love the asymmetricalness of this ship. It's just gorgeous. Look at the sunken seats there. It's so quiet. Everyone's on shore. So I'm gonna go ashore soon. Having a bit of a relaxing morning. A bit of partying was done last night. Not drinking though, just partying, <laughs> dancing. You see the cabanas there, along there. So the first one is like a, the first and last one are like, um, so basically on the cruise personaliser planner, you can order them, book them, um, which no one seems to be doing. But you can either have them for two or for four or one. Um, 
and I wondered how it said that the one for two was a shared cabana and I was like oh don't like the sound of that because they're expensive they're like £250 to book um, or even more if you've got a full one with four people about $500 dollars dollars sorry $250 or $500-ish dollars um, and you get loads of free stuff with that like loads of free bottles of Evian bottles of champagne or gin or vodka or whatever your poison is there's a list that you can choose from and food and waiter service and and I mean they're beautiful today in the sun but if you booked one for the sea day yesterday I mean it was a it was a gloomy day uh, it's not the type of day you want to sit in one of them all day but um let me show you the ones that are shared so there's like a, a thing in the middle where that gentleman is standing there's like a wall partition so it's perfect for two although the one on our right is better because you've got the sofa at the back and it curls round as well whereas the one on the other side you've literally just got the sofa the two seats um but yeah you can book it on your cruise personalizer on the app when you want to and they go all along So not very private. I think I'd want something a bit more private. I had seen people comment on the edge ones and apex ones that they went private. And they're not. That last one is probably the best one actually, despite not having the sofa all the way around. At least you do have a bit of privacy with that wall and the wall on the other side. Um, but like I'd expect sun lounges and all sorts in there. Whereas you can't lie down. Anyway, I don't think it'd be worth it. And you know me, I like spending money on treats. And yeah, I'm not sure if that would be worth it. Ooh. I feel I haven't recorded much of myself, but then you don't want to see me, you want to see the ship. <laughs> She's beautiful, there's the top of the magic carpet. Here's are the cabanas I was just telling you about. Uh, the funnel. I love this ramp up and down. And then, Lara <laughs> Resort decks, another lovely area for an early morning drink whilst you're mustering the energy to go explore. <laughs> I suddenly thought something's missing here. It's a magic carpet. It must have gone down. Let's have a look. See if we can see it. Um Yeah, look, there it is. This is quite useful for later in this vlog series for me. Um, the Celebrity uh, Eye Lounge has Apple um, credited people there. It's a you know accredited Apple um, sales area. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can buy Apple products here online, online on the ship. Um, and also, when you have problems with your iPad or your iPhone, as I always seem to do on a cruise, um, you can go here and they can and help you out and see if they can um, help you in any way. And guest relations is over there. This is just a beautiful destination gateway. We've not been here before. I'm trying to find the way off. <laughs> Yeah, not the way off though. <laughs> we shall keep looking. It's not massively clear. <laughs> so I walked up those stairs and got back into the grand atrium here. Um, so basically, that that destination gateway, which you'll see me show you in a few times um, on future um, vlogs. It's the area where you get on and off the tender platform. So when when the magic carpet is down, you'll get on and off in Destination Gateway. And also, we had the gangway um, down there sometimes as well. So yeah, it's quite a nice area. It made it all feel um, very spacious and relaxed. And yeah, there's lots of room down there. Um, it's, it's a good usage of space. And I think... They didn't seem to do it on my quiz, but I think they'll also do sort of um, presentations and, you know, some sort of events down there as well. Um, yeah, seemed a good area of the ship. I got off. It was moving to do it. Ah, sun creamed up. Hot. 
beautiful sunshine here. And here's the ship. And then we <laughs> beyond beautiful weather here in France. Uh we in La Rochelle. Here she is in all her glory. <laughs> beautiful celebrity beyond in La Rochelle. You can really see the um the infinity balconies here. None of them are actually there's one over there open. See it up in center screen right now. It's open. Most of them are shut, most people are sure. <laughs> so there is the option of shuttle to town, shuttle bus to town, um, in La Rochelle, or if you had booked a short excursion, you went on that. Now, celebrity cruises it's the first cruise line I've been on, um, where everyone has to pay for the shuttle. Um, and a lot of the shuttles are actually put on by the actual the ports. Oh, well, obviously they're always put on by the port. The, the cruise ship doesn't run them, but I don't know on P and O, it must be that they pay the the port authority for the the shuttle. Um, because I've never, I've seen a ship by some people who pay like save affairs and cheap affairs have to pay for their shuttle rides, but not everyone. Which is fine, you know. It's just you know a payment to make, isn't it? Do you know everyone needs to make money? Um, it's just usually included in most cruise fares. I love these coaches with the glass and the ceiling as well and the roof. Um, we had them in the Canary Isles. You have a good view of everything, especially the ship as you drive past. <laughs> um, the the local people were telling us actually these buses had come a long way away um, because unfortunately with COVID and ships not coming to places as often, uh, some of the coach companies went bust, which is really sad. So the big bridge here, the lift. The island There's is called Ray, okay? So it's uh, R, R E with a little accent, okay? So Ray. Uh, this island is the uh, fourth biggest island in France. Six hours. Six hours, yeah. So, you, so imagine you, 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 you're on holiday, you come from Paris, drive around, then you have to come here, and then you have lines and lines of cars and, and everything, and you just have to. And to be honest, it has uh, made things a little bit more comfortable. Maybe uh, the, the, the fact that I'm flying, that having a tour station makes, still makes things complicated. It was back to not very long ago, maybe about 10,000 years ago, well, 10,000 years, I might say that's ages. Yes, of course it is, but... Uh... Going on this excursion, sit on the left side of the coach because you'll get fabulous views of your ship as we go over the bridge. On to Ray. Runs a house. Oh, let's say they have a family house, um, which they keep for coming over for holiday. Uh, even for them, it's now difficult to uh, because of the taxes and everything and uh, what supermarket. But they are local and they are known to be very tasty. It's a beautiful little town, very France, very French. <laughs> Funny that being in France. Um, yeah, just a really nice place to just wander around in the sunshine, admire the beautiful architecture. Um, people had time to have a, a glass of wine in the cafe if they wanted, or a bar, or uh, coffee. Um, a few shops to have a look in round and shops and spend some money. Uh, I didn't, but others did. Yeah, it was just, it was a lovely little town to wander around. Beautiful here in, uh, oh, I forgot what it's called, Ars, Ars, beautiful. <laughs> We've been given um, half an hour, actually 40 minutes or so just to wander around. And the beautiful weather helps. <laughs> we just drove past some rasta donkeys. Now, if you told me the concept without showing them, I think I would have thought it was an April Fool. I'll try and get a photo on the way back if we go the same way. They're so cute. Donkeys with rasta hair. <laughs> Where is the One of the local delicacies was salt. That's what the rasta donkeys were used for, I think, working on the salt um, plains on the island of Ray. 
Um, so yeah, you can buy some of their special salt and it's salt to eat with like tomatoes and it's not salt to add into your cooking. It's, you know, really good high quality salt. You can treat yourself to some here. As well as being Rastafarian donkeys, they also wear culottes, and they do. Later in the, this vlog, I'll show you a donkey with culottes on. But again, it was to protect them as they were working, I think, to keep the um, flies off them. Uh, they look so cute in their little outfits. This was a lovely tour. I just booked it on a whim on the ship. Um, it wasn't one I'd planned from home. It's lovely, just pottering around this little village called ours on the island of Ray. I'll give you more information on the side. Um, and I've done, I'll be doing a reel hopefully. <laughs> we'll see on it. But yeah, a great little tour. It's quite expensive because I booked it on the ship. Um, but I'm sure if you booked it in advance it'd be cheaper. Yeah, it's beautiful here. I forgot to say, um, our tour guide, Alan, is doing lots of commentary on the way whilst we drive along um it's really interesting i've written some of it down so i'll share some tidbits probably on my insta stories and on here um my insta stories will be shared in a highlight on my instagram account because this here vlog will probably um publish a few weeks after my actual cruise it's so peaceful i don't know where all the other people on my tour have gone <laughs> We'd wander back to the coach for half past three, which I'm slowly doing. The problem with me is I never want to be late. <laughs> so I'm here, the coach is here, but no one else is. I'm like eight minutes early. <laughs> oh, there's some other cool, uh, yeah, there's some other people with yellow stickers. Uh, I'm not the only one. <laughs> it's the irrational fear that I'll um, be late and left behind, which has never happened and probably will never happen. It's an irrational fear. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my voice, but I don't have a sore throat. I've not been talking much because I'm cruising solo. I mean, I've been talking with people in bars and stuff and at dinner, theatre, people sat by me, but I haven't been talking excessively. Um, yeah, I sound a bit croaky. It's that he did not <laughs> want to have repeated. So here we Look at them. They're, they're, they're peaceful. Yeah. Some of them are thinking. They are thinking, they are meditating. So the second visit of the tour took us to St Martin de Rey, which is like the main town on the island. It's beautiful. We um, just had a wander around the dock, really. There were so many bars and um, restaurants and cafes to have a drink at and watch the world go by if that was what you wanted to do. Or you could go and walk around and explore. We had about an hour and a bit here, which was enough time really to go and have a little wander around. Now I'm in St Martin. Beautiful. It's busy. It appeared to be the place on Ray to keep your yacht. <laughs> um, so many boats. It's beautiful, yeah. Lovely day. There's lots of these boats advertising trips. Lots of cafes to have a drink at if you want. We're not here for that long really, but um, if you want to do. This is the ice cream store, surprise, surprise. Busy. Lovely here. And all these boats. It's busy. The weather's perfect. It's beautiful. It's busy here. Uh, apparently this is really quiet so in the summer when it's really busy it must be insanely busy it's nice to see lots of people enjoying themselves lots of ice cream places here you can treat yourself to ice cream it's so, so beautiful and tranquil tranquil <laughs> i can't talk properly beautiful here yeah. except for the seagulls <laughs> standing in the fortress and the walls <laughs> <laughs> this is to keep the English out. We feel your French, as well as had castles. <laughs> I think this is the entrance to the harbour. You can see a mast moving along over there. <laughs> Donkey and his culottes, doesn't he look cute? Okay. <laughs> 
And then at the end of the trip, they brought us back to the ship and the port. Um, back on board for an evening aboard Celebrity Beyond. So there tended to be productions in the theatre early, at like half seven, and then again about half nine. So I always tended to go to the theatre before my dinner, because my dinners were generally about half eight, um, which worked out really well. It will tell you on the app if you're allowed to film or not, and I don't think it said actually for UK, UK, UK box. Uh, I didn't, out of respect, because, you know, for the things that you could record, it said that you could. Um... There were drinks served by the bar in the theatre too, which was nice um, to have served at the seat, which was good. Never any shortage of venues to go to for entertainment on this ship, and there's plenty of seating everywhere. Um, yeah, it's, you wouldn't be bored on the ship ever. Today I'm having dinner in Cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan is one of the four main dining rooms on the restaurant um, for people in the um, non-suite cabins. And it was beautiful. I mean, all four were beautiful. You have to visit them all. It, it, you, well, you don't have to. If you have a favourite, you can stay on the one. But I highly suggest you visit them all. sailed away from La Rochelle. There's a lovely lady sat on this table we've been chatting with <laughs> who were eavesdropping on people complaining about nothing, about their water. This was the signature dessert um, cafe pot de creme. It's delicious. How did I miss this on the way in? On the other deck, it's a bit windy. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Eden tonight and see another show there. Um, just been to the theatre and then I've had dinner and called the pullers and, and spoke to some lovely Canadian ladies um, on the table next to me. They were very lovely. Hopefully, I bump into them again. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a bit windy up here. It's not cold though. <laughs> I love how the lifts have a forward arrow and an aft arrow to show you which way when you get out. I treated myself to another pea cocktail in Eden. Uh, this time I paid for it, so I have a classic drinks package. Because uh, it's $20, my drinks are covered to 9 so it, it cost $11. It was a treat. It was expensive, but it was delicious. And I'm in Eden for another show here. Although I don't think it's quite the same sort of show just I think it's more singing. Um, but this venue is incredible. There's a thing on the wall there, love stories. It's just incredible. And you can see, I'm trying to put my finger at this, this row of seats up there. They're on like a ramp up to the next level. So the restaurant's underneath us. This is the bar, like um, entertainment area. And then there's a um, floor up there with more seats kind of overlooking here and in the daytime there's stuff going on and the view of the wake and then in the evening it's entertainment it's just an incredible venue